everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i will show you how to do a retopology using polyquilt add-on this add-on is pretty amazing i think better than the surfaces add-on so let's go ahead to show you some interesting tools used by this add-on we have here at this toolbar as shown here this polyquilt button you can click on it in order to show this uh, pop-up menu as shown here we have different important tools and you can choose in between these tools i have talked about that in the previous tutorial and you can check it out later and watch it to see how to use this add-on the first tool is a brush tool it is it to smooth out some verses and then make a good edge flow uh, while you try to retopologize, we have a delete to delete some faces, for example. So let's click to select this uh, to switch to this add on, just like this. And you have here, here at the top, as you can see, different options. And you can set uh, the pivot, set also the movement, also, snapping is on, and you can. Uh, switch this uh, snapping tool snap a feature over there by uh, activating the face project select face project go over here close this then and uh, keep or leave the, the same settings as shown here you can also uh, enable the auto merge feature as shown in our tutorial then go over matcap select this matcap just uh, this matcap so what we have also we have also here at the header of 3d viewport editor uh, these uh, buttons or the squares of uh, geometry also you can select in between them if you want to create just vertices for example you can just click to create vertices as shown here let's undo also you can select the edge as shown here this geometry type you can select edge and it just is going to to create edge uh, while uh, trying to trace and create edge for your topology over there surrounding the eye for example like this and click on the right mouse button in order to release and you can see that the topology is going to is going to snap to surface as shown here and you can select and rotate it again as shown here so let's undo in the case where we are also you can create triangle you can to type select to create triangle for example just like this it's going to be creating triangle uh, that going to snap to the surface of this sculpt 3d model and this time, let's talk about the quad geometry depending uh, on a quad as a basis for your topology. You can create a quad, for example, like this by clicking using the left mouse button and moving to create vertex in uh, vertex anywhere uh, at the top of the face. Also, you can work uh, by changing the kind of the tool used. For example, let's select Extrude. When selecting uh, that tool, which is Extrude tool, when hovering over any edge, it's going to be uh, showing up or displaying that uh, arrow, as you can see it, and highlighting. And that edge is, is going to be highlighting in the yellow color. You can hold and drag to extrude on that face for example and hovering control z for example hovering over this face in order to extrude just like this and you can hover in again and extrude just like this let's see if those faces is going to snap into the surface of this uh, sculpt of this uh, sculpt 3d model as you can see and all those faces are uh, snapped to the surface of that 3D sculpt model. So let's see how to uh, begin with uh, retopology 
using this amazing add-on and you can use it it's a pretty uh, valuable and uh, reliable for that kind of uh, task so just i'm gonna be using some vertices or edges as shown here so let's uh, zoom in just a, a tiny bit and uh, getting closer to our 3D uh, sculpted model. Click using the right mouse button and move just a tiny bit, for example, to this area and move again. Move and click, drag and click using the left mouse button. So just like this, move again and as you can see here in our tutorial, so let's do it again and again. Like this, drag and click on left mouse button in order to add a vertex. And in order to escape and uh, and do or uh, stop doing that action, you can click on the right mouse button just like this. It's gonna be releasing that that uh, process. And again, let's add another edge just like this. Click on the right mouse button in order to to undo the action and as you can see here in our tutorial that all those vertices are going to be snubbed to the surface of our 3D sculpt model as shown here. So in order to see how to re-topologize uh, fast and uh, much more easier using this great method, you can also, depending on that extrude, so let's select uh, then I'm going to be trying to extrude some sections or some edges for example let's try extruding so hovering over any of those edges as shown here this is going to be showing this uh, two arrows and it's just going to be highlighted in yellow color you can drag a little bit up just like this and release in order to create this quad let's do it again for this section and automatically it's going to be uh, merging these two vertices when they are identical or going to to be in the same area as shown here uh, firstly you need to uh, enable this auto merge feature do it again for this section over here and also you can do it and extruding control z to undo because it's gonna be making uh, that uh, weird overlapping issue do it also like this and you can extrude down just a tiny bit let's see the case where we should uh, move how to move those vertices and by selecting uh, the case of this polygon to activate it like this don't select the other tools just like this hovering and the by clicking and moving that vertex is gonna be moving that vertex snap it to the surface just like this and move it again and move that vertex just a tiny bit let's move it in order to put, to put it to that uh, edge control Z to put it uh, to put this uh, vertex on that uh, sharp edges of forward lips so move it just a tiny bit like this and let's move it Ctrl Z. Make sure that you you selected the vertex and move it like this. Let's move that vertex like this. Ctrl Z. Select and uh, hold in the left mouse button and move your mouse in order to make uh, that effect. Select that vertex and uh, move it just a tiny bit. Ctrl Z And we will continue in the next part to explain more features and great tools for this add-on it's pretty amazing thanks for watching